Hi, welcome to the CDOC's tip of the day. Today I've got two tips that I want to talk about with regards to cementation. First, let's talk about the cement that we use. Most of the time when people are doing a restoration like zirconia, Zircad from Ivoclar, for example, that material is very opaque. So if you're using a resin cement, you want to make sure that that resin cement has really good dual cure properties, meaning that in the absence of light, that it can cure without any issues. So with SpeedSem from Ivoclar, you have really good dual cure properties. And because the restoration zirconia is opaque, you want to make sure that that cement will set because you can't get a curing light to it. Now you can always take a curing light at the margins of the restoration, but there's still a lot of cement on the inside of the restoration. And if that cement doesn't cure well, you won't, you're going to have a problem. So try SpeedSem. Does great when it's uh, dual curing. It cures great in the absence of light. Now, the second tip is anytime that we use these dual cured cements, the cap is not the cap is not the cap. Meaning once you remove the cap from the syringe, throw it away. You're going to put a tip on, you're going to dispense, leave that tip on until the next time you use the syringe, replace that tip and so forth. The reason for that is if you put the cap back on and if you accidentally put the cap back backwards, what's going to happen is the base and the catalyst are going to mix up and you're going to have an issue with the syringe setting up on the inside and you're going to have to throw that syringe away. So don't put the cap back on. Take the cap off, put this mixing tip and then continue to replace that mixing tip every time you use it on the next case. Hope you enjoyed the tip of the day.